Hey guys, it is your girl Carrie, and today I am so excited to be participating in a collaboration with some wonderful ladies. And this collaboration is hosted by my girl, the thrifter extraordinaire, Denise, over at the channel Be My Guest with Denise. All of the ladies' information is listed in the description box below. In this challenge, we are to show how we purchased a thrifted item and used it in our home decor. The only requirement was that we had fun. Now, the last thing I need to do is actually buy anything. If you guys, you know, saw the video that I did on my favorite organized space where I didn't even have a favorite organized space. I was trying to just organize or declutter my mind. And so since then, I've been decluttering and trying not to purchase things. So what I ended up doing was finding a desk that I had in my garage for over four years that I picked up with the hopes of actually putting a beautiful writing desk in a nook in my bedroom. Now, let me be honest, I am going to have to confess my mess. Now, the reason I never got around to putting this desk in my room, um, you know, for four years, is because the corner in my room that the desk was supposed to go in was actually, you know, filled with clutter. Back in the day, I used to have a cleaning lady and she would come and clean our house and it was very stressful for me because I had a lot of clutter and I used to have to clean for the cleaning lady and that you know just didn't make sense and so she would come in and what I realized was the cleaning lady's job was to clean her job wasn't to declutter my house to organize my house or to create organizational systems so after she would clean my you know home it would just get messy the very next day and when she would clean my room she would try her best to think about you know where things should go and you know things that she didn't know where they went but she knew they didn't go on top of a dresser or what have you she would just take it and pile it up into that empty corner where my desk was supposed to be and over time it grew into this well I tackled this space I cleared out the clutter and I made a beautiful beautiful writing desk and I'm absolutely loving my space so here is my piece that I am going to be making over this piece has been in my garage for a little over four years now and it does have some you know dings and you know marks like here at the top of you know the top shelf of the desk it you know is pr in pretty bad shape but we're going to fix that and then here the bottom shelf I love the curves and the lines in that and you can see that that is pretty beat up as well and then down here it has a little drawer and this part right here just opens up and you can see the inside of the desk. Now here is the final reveal of my $11 desk turned into my dream writing desk. Guys, I am over the moon happy. Not only am I happy that I have a beautiful space to actually go to and write or have my quality time in the morning, but I am so happy that all that clutter is gone. Literally, I cried when I looked at my beautiful space. All of that clutter is gone, and guys, clutter can make you sad. And so, here is what my desk looks like closed and what I did with it I used Annie Sloan chalk paint and I painted it old white and then I took some um, antiquing wax and kind of just waxed it to give it that antique type look and you know the wax just kind of got down in all of the grooves and I think it looks beautiful now this style may not be for everyone but I absolutely love it and then if you look down at the bottom I had a piece of glass cut to size because that wood down at the bottom was all you know bubbling up and peeling off so I took some packaging paper and cut out a template and brought the template to my local glass shop and they cut out a beautiful piece and I think that turned out rather lovely and then those boxes down there I'll just you know keep a few magazines and things that I will need when I'm over here at my writing desk and over here are these beautiful knobs that I picked up from the Hobby Lobby and they say Paris and I think they fit quite nicely on this desk. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the drawer so you guys can see inside. 
so here's what inside the drawer looks like and as you can see I did not antique the inside of the drawers but I'm going to line it with um, a robin's egg blue velvet fabric and I have some of that velvet fabric downstairs left over from you know when I did my room you know decorated the rest of my room so I'm going to line that and I think that will look really really nice now this wonderful chair that matches my desk so well was also a thrifted find and I got this about seven years ago when I first started you know decorating my bedroom and the fabric that came on it this was not the original fabric this is one of the fabric designs that I had chose when I got all of my bedding and things made for my bedroom so they reupholstered the chair in this uh, geometric pattern and I absolutely love the way it looks now everything here on this desk I shopped my home for. I didn't go out and purchase anything with the exception of the live flowers but you guys know that I pick up a bundle of flowers each week for my quality time and it was really fun doing a kind of no cost decorating for this space and I am just so 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 happy. Now you guys have probably seen this artwork in several of my videos. I kind of used them as props and I had never hung them up because I didn't have a space to hang them. So I just hung them right over this desk and I think it looks beautiful there. Now if you guys remember my breakfast at Tiffany's brunch video, you would recognize these candlesticks. I use these to make the donut tree. Now if you guys watched my Mother's Day gift ideas video, you would remember this ceramic purse. And this right here is a makeshift, you know, a stand, a makeshift dome. And this is just made out of some Goodwill, you know, pieces thrown together. It's a candlestick, a little brass candlestick. And I don't know what these things are, these little round things. If anyone knows what they are and what they're supposed to be used for. But all I did was I put a little white saucer plate on top of the candlestick and put that over it. And then just put a little dome that I had and filled it in with some fresh flowers and now I have a really cute you know vintagey looking um, dessert stand or flower dome or cloche so guys this is what my desk looks like opened up guys can you imagine how I felt when I sat down for my first quality time at my new writing desk it was fabulous again my quality time breakfasts are very very simple I just had some mini croissants. These beautiful beaded plates right here, I actually picked up from the Goodwill. I already had a ton of beaded stuff. As you can see, my little butter dish has, you know, beads around it. That came from Ross. I had that for several years. And, you know, over here is just a little teeny tiny mini cheesecake. Yes, cheesecake for breakfast because I deserve it. And then over here, is my beautiful uh, teacup and again this is a thrifted teacup I thrift most of my teacups and I just think these are absolutely adorable I love them I just feel so fancy when I'm you know sipping on my tea and this is my beautiful little vintage mannequin here that I thrifted a long time ago and I was very sad because I broke off the base I dropped it broke the base but as I was being creative and trying to style my desk I figured out a way I could fix it and basically I took another one of these little dollar brass candlesticks from the Goodwill and since those have like the hole down you know in the bottom to stick the candle in instead here's the base to my uh, mannequin I just took my mannequin base and I stuck it down in there and it just goes in there securely so now I have a beautiful mannequin to sit on my desk now what's an antique writing desk without a feather pen I absolutely love this pen if you guys remember my cheers and beers uh, graduation party that I threw for my husband you would remember this pen and basically I made this you know I grabbed a flower from Hobby Lobby uh, feather from Hobby Lobby and I had an old uh, you know wedding sign in book pen and I just glued everything together and this down here this was a Christmas ornament and you know I just you know it's kind of like a picture frame pr Christmas ornament I took that and if you guys you know if I have any Dollar Tree 
you know, people that love Dollar Tree, you would remember these little um, magnetic frames. They came two in a pack, a big one and this little mini one. I just hot glued that to the top of it and then glued the pen in the center. And so now I have a fabulous little pen. So guys, you know I could not leave you without a let's, let's dish session. So today I want to share with you this funny looking spoon. Now I know you're thinking, Carrie, what kind of spoon is that? Well, this is a honey spoon. And basically what a honey spoon is for, um, you know, like the honey dippers, they're a little bit hard to maneuver or use. Well, a honey spoon, what you're going to use that for is to dip your honey. Uh, don't mind my um, band-aid. I cut myself moving some clutter around. But anyway, I have honey in my, you know, jar. So this is some honey in here. And I'll set that to the side. And basically, you would, you know, take your honey out and put it into your tea. And after you finish, if you only have one honey spoon and you're serving several people, you would then take the spoon and let it rest on the side of the honey pot and so therefore you know the honey that's on the spoon it will drip back down into the honey pot and won't get all over everything now if you have a honey spoon for each guest you can put a honey spoon next to each person's um, serving you know serving set or their tea and they would you know dip their honey and put you know the amount of honey that they want into their tea and then they would just rest their spoon on the side of their cup and then that would just allow the honey to drip and run down into their tea and I just love it I just think it's really cute this is something that I do on special occasions for myself and this desk called for me to whip out my honey spoon so when I am not eating at my desk, I can always write, write out or plan my day or anything like that. I love this little journal right here that's called, you know, that has the word write on it. Now some other items that I included on my desk is this beautiful, beautiful box here. I've always wanted a vintage glove box, you know, like back in the day when ladies used to wear gloves for all different kinds of occasions, but I am quite a bit of a germaphobe and most of the, you know, glove boxes that are vintage in the thrift stores have like a velvet lining in them and things like that and I'm a little bit skeptical about using those, but this beautiful clear box here acts as my glove box, although I don't put gloves in it. And here in the back is a three uh, picture frame and you've probably seen this a million times when I've set up all my different buffets and things like that. So I just printed off some vintage, you know, uh, French love letters and just placed those in there. And one of my favorite thrift store finds is this, you know, this little post-it note or note keeper and they're like in the shape of little hands or gloves of the vintage lady finally you guys have seen these you know i collect beautiful uh, lighters to light my candles so i just put that there and a notebook in the back so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i am enjoying my space and until next time i'm going to keep calm and carry on